What's up everybody? EA Sports Game Changer, CCC Golfer 08 here with UnderTheCode.com. Bring you a quick little video here inside the mind of CCC Golfer 08 in amateur mode just to kind of let you know what's going on through my mind throughout these shots. Uh, so here you can see I'm at the 7th hole at Mirfield Village. It's a par 5. Basically on par 5 you just want to try to blast the, the drive up there as far as possible to try to get yourself so you can reach the green. So all I'm going to do here is just uh, take a big swing at the ball. Uh, I did get over swinging fast to try to get up there as far as possible here. Um, so let's see what yardage I'm left with here. It looks like I'm left with 220 yards to the flag as you can see in the HUD up in the top left. And the first thing I'm going to do is look at my lie. So I'm going to push down on the left analog stick. Uh, it's relatively flat. It's only 0.4 above my feet so I don't really have to worry about that a whole lot. But as you can see there's not a whole lot of room in front of the green. Uh, it is uh, average course condition so the ball will sit relatively well on the green so what I'm going to do is try to land it maybe around 214, 215 uh, so I'm going to play the wind here um, let's see what I can hit here uh, if I want to land it around 214 I'm basically just going to try to give some here for the wind I usually play by feel a lot of people do play by math but uh, I'm going to try to hit it maybe here around 203 and let the wind take it up there to the hole so here I go a little bit of an overswing there, uh, perfect follow through though, and it does land basically in front of the hole a little bit, leave myself a nice little eagle putt here. Uh, I would have liked to land a little bit more in front of the hole, uh, just because it would have gave me a, a chance to maybe hole out the shot, uh, but then I'm just going to hit this putt real quick and move to the next hole. Now that I'm loaded up to the next hole here, uh, you can see it's a par 3. Uh, you can see that the wind is a 4 mile per hour wind. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, even though it is a par 3, is you got to check the tee box because sometimes you will have a little bit of a slope there. As you can see, it's a little bit above my feet. Not going to affect it a whole lot, though. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom in. Uh, I have 188 yards. Basically, I have a choice here to try to uh, land it behind the hole and bring it back or land it in front of the hole and uh, try and roll it forward to the hole. So uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try to land it a little bit behind the hole and try to spin it back. Uh, as you can see, it's 16 feet downhill, so I want to play it a little bit short of the 188 that it says I am to the flag. So here I am about 184, and then I want to give it a little bit more for the wind. Uh, so I'm just going to drag it back here another couple yards here by just giving it some more loft. Then I'm just going to move it over here for the 4 mile per hour wind to try to play it as accurate as possible. I'm just going to take a full swing here. Perfect, perfect. It's looking pretty good here in the air. I'm just going to give it some backspin now. Landed a little bit too deep for my liking, but it's going to roll back nice, just not quite far enough. Uh, so as you can see, I did get a close approach there. I left myself a nice little birdie putt. Um, no harm, no foul there. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap this in, and let's move on to the next hole. All right, here I am on the next hole. It's a par 4, as you can see, 413 yards to the flag. And what I usually try to do on these par 4s is I try to make sure that I leave myself a flat lie. You can scroll down uh, or push down on the left analog stick when you're looking at the fairway, and you can kind of zoom around to try to find yourself a flat lie. It looks like here on the right side is uh, where I want to go. And I usually try to leave myself one of my favorite yardages, which is usually anywhere between 120 and 150 for me. Uh, so what I'm going to do, since it's 413, I want to end up hitting the ball around um, maybe 273 total, and that will leave me my yardage. Uh, so what I'm going to do is hit 255 here, this 3-wood, and let it roll out a little bit. It should leave me there in my uh, yardage that I like. So I'm just going to hit my driver here, maybe give a little bit forward spin. Try to give myself a flat lie uh, with a yardage that I'm going to like. Uh, let's see here what I left with. I am left with 142, which is in the range that I like. Uh, it's below my feet a little bit and a little bit down slope, uh, but not too bad, so it's not going to affect my shot a whole lot. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, uh, you can see it's 142 to the flag. What I want to do here, since I have a wedge in my hand, is land it behind the hole and try to spin it back into the hole. As you can see, it's a little bit downhill, so I'm going to take a couple yards off of it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is kind of use some loft uh, so I can try to keep myself swinging a full shot. I want to try to land it at about 144 so it lands behind the hole. Uh, so take a little bit off for the, uh, for the downhill and then uh, also uh, take a little bit off for the 2 mile per hour wind there. Uh, so I'm going to try to hit around 139, let it land behind the hole. And hopefully it will come back nice here, uh, maybe give myself a chance at a hole out. 
hit perfect, perfect there. It should land behind the hole. Give a little bit of backspin to the side here. And I made it. Uh, so that's what you want to do to try to get a hole out. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, leave some comments here if you have any questions at all. And I hope to see you guys out on the links.